is good great gang we're here today we're actually going to be doing some trapping today but first before we get out there and set some traps um that that's not what i'm talking about but it's kind of getting dark guys and we kind of gotta hurry so we don't have time to waste ah. so i know a lot of people do like fishing unboxings you know like they go to bass pro 250 dollars bass pro fishing unboxing but today we're doing something a little bit different we're doing a trapping unboxing one of its kind because no one traps anymore oh yeah man that's where it's coming from big box big box it's coming from f and t this is 100 percent not sponsored Sponsored. It's just like one out of the two spots online you can actually get trapping stuff. Trapping is a dying art, and so are the websites you can buy stuff from. So without further ado, let's open up this box and see what in the world we got. Even though I already know exactly what's in the box, I'm going to act like I have no idea. Don't you just love good plain video of me walking in Crocs? I mean, aren't Crocs just like... The best shoe in the world. Then whenever you put them up beside the KG pocket knife Gen 2 that's currently out of stock, it makes them look even better. Ooh, but let's get on to the package. The thing is, as soon as we get done with this package, we're actually going to go out there and, uh... Ah, come on now. Set some traps. Because in this box, I'm getting something that, believe it or not, is like extremely essential for trapping. But I've never had it before in my life. And I'm kind of excited to get it. And I'm also kind of confused why, it's, why I'm just now getting Like, I've been trapping for a long time. And normal people would have got this a long time ago. Ha-ha! But not me, because I'm not normal. Boom! A lot of paper. We'll go ahead and pull a lot of this paper out. Oh, that's not it. But it's something I need. First thing we're pulling out, guys. Looks like... Four MB450s? I think there's actually more in here, but let me check. I ordered half a dozen, so six traps. These traps aren't cheap either, but I will promise these are the best on the animal. Now let's get a little closer and look at this trap. This is an MB450OS. There's a couple different models of MB450s. This, in my opinion, is the best for at least, or at least for what I'm doing. The reason, they're a little bit smaller, which is a whole lot more forgiving on like fox and dogs if I do catch one. The MB550s is what actually caught the big coyote in. But if we're going to be completely honest, I think these are fully sufficient to catch and hold a big coyote. Now, like I said, this is a 450 OS. That's for offset jaws. It leaves a little gap in between. There's another model that I really like. It's called the MB450 Fox. I really like that one, and I would prefer that one. But on that other trap, it doesn't have the offset jaw. But in return, it gives you an extra swivel. Honestly, guys, I like that, but I also like my offset jaw. And like I said, half dozen. If you don't know how to count, that's six. The next thing I got is a stinking heavy-duty sift and I kind of just realized why this may not be as good as I thought. Okay, heavy duty sifter. Like, look how strong that grade is. I have an old sifter that's, well, not heavy duty. And it's kind of starting to fall apart. But I got this one right here. It is super heavy duty, but it's also super heavy. And I really didn't think about that. Especially because a lot of my traps I have to hike like a mile in and a mile out. I didn't really think that one through. But it's super heavy duty and will literally last forever. Another thing I got. This is a, this actually came in here for free because I ordered so much stuff I got something for free. It's a fur brush. Like you, you brush out the fur before you skin the animal. That way if it's got maybe like burrs on it, like those little things that stick to fur, you can scrape those off. That way it doesn't cause a problem later whenever you're fleshing the animal. Fleshing, if you don't know, that's when you're scraping the animal hide, getting all the fat off. Fun fact, you've actually never seen me do that before unless you've watched videos from over two years ago. Next up, I got some gloves because like I was saying, my old heavy duty gloves, I lost the, the, the left glove last year. Oh, now I don't know. I don't think there's much more in here. Like I said in a second ago, you've never seen me flesh before. And that's because I never had the stuff to do it. But old KG, he has the stuff now. This is called a fleshing bean. Now I found these on sale, so I got two different sizes. I got this in right here, pretty thick, pretty wide for like coyotes and bigger animals. And then I got this smaller one. This one's great for like possums, maybe even a smaller coon. Now that's some solid stuff right there. And then down in here, it says I got the wall mounting fleshing system. I kind of don't remember what this is, but I think we're about to find out. Hopefully we'll get to set this up today but i don't know probably not because we gotta go set some traps 
Oh, snap. Oh, come on, Kendall. You're kidding, dude. No way. Dude, no. Oh, come on, man. I messed up. That stinks. Y'all don't even know what I did wrong, but I sure do. So as I was checking out, I had those two in my cart. Those two are like $20 a piece, something like that. But then I remember, I looked at this thing, and it was a board, and it came with a wall mounting system, and it wasn't much more. So I decided to buy that instead. As we can tell, I forgot to take those out of my car. Therefore, I just spent money on something I probably won't ever use. I mean, at least they look cool. You gotta give them that. But this is the wall system. This way I can like set it up against the wall instead of breaking my back. Yeah, this is cool, guys. Like, this is cool. Now, we're actually gonna go out and set a couple coon traps or possum traps. The reason, of course, I want to try out my new fleshing beam. I want to have a video for you guys where I go from catching it to skinning it to fleshing it and stretching it. I have stretchers back there. That's where you like stretch it out and let the hide dry. This is a really exciting time, guys. I mean, a lot's about to happen. But before we even go out and set those traps, I'm gonna come in here and get these traps and I'm gonna go dunk them in some water and let them start rusting. Now with most metal products, rust is the last thing you want. With steel traps, however, you kind of want rust because right now these kind of have like a new factory smell. Like you can smell the oil on them. So I'm gonna come over here Dunk it in the pool pond. It's froze over. That's not good. There we go. Dunk it in there. Dunk it in there. Get it all wet and stuff. That should be good. I am literally going to walk it over here. Set these chill traps right there. And let them just try to get the nature scent. Another thing besides smell, if they start rusting, they'll turn from steel color to dirt color. That's a plus. Plus, that's like super high quality steel. So even if it does rust... It doesn't matter. Like, that can get extremely rusted, and it'll still last longer than Mammy. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna pack all that back in the box, drag that back inside. We got sardines. We got a dog proof. Let's go get a possum. All right, here's the game plan. Can of sardines. That's pretty basic, okay? You probably expected it. Here about a year ago, we actually had an epidemic here at Kennel Gray Outdoors where everyone was sending in sardines. Thanks to all you great gangsters, we still have sardines and it still have plenty. Also, a little while ago, we had someone send in this steel trap right here. Send it in the mail. It has been used and I'm pretty sure they either caught their first possum or their first raccoon in this fairy trap. So we already know that this trap has good luck. It can catch animals. I'm pretty sure it was a possum. But I mean, hey guys, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If I could choose what I catch, I want a possum. That is what I want. A big old gray looking possum. And if there's anywhere I plan a possum to be, it's gonna be right over here next to this big cliff. Possums really like cliffs. I don't know why. Maybe whenever we catch one, you can ask me. We're not gonna make this any harder than it has to be. I'm gonna come over here right up to this tree. I think I've actually caught one off this tree before. Not even kidding. It's either this tree or that tree, and I'm really not sure which one. But uh, I'm going to look around, panic a little bit, then I'm going to choose this rock and set the camera on it. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Looks like the main path is coming kind of right through here, so I'm going to make sure the trap is right here. Well, I uh, spin that around the tree. All is looking good. It is set around the tree. I'm going to come in here and set this dog proof. Sweet, the trap is set. Took a little bit of muscle there, but we finally got it. We'll set that trap right in there. That should be looking good. Come in here, get these sardines. The flavor, if you're wondering, is sea boy, sea, sea boy, oh my gosh, soybean oil. There we go, that's what we like. We'll make sure we get some of the scent coming right across the trail. That way, if a coon's coming full speed, he ain't gonna miss it, son, no way. This is possum trapping 101 right here. If this won't catch you a possum, nothing will. We'll make sure that we get a lot of it in the trap. Make sure, poke it around, make sure it gets under the trigger. And now we'll more or less just try to fill it up the best we can. Just like that. That looks beautiful, not really, but it's gonna work, okay? Now, gonna set the can right there. Not cause I'm littering, but because that's actually a visual attractant. Think about it, if you're a big soggy coon coming right, walking right through here, if you see that thing, you're gonna stop and look at it. I mean, it's big, bright, and it's shiny. Shoot, man, a coon might even notice it from up there and come down here. But now we got that one set. We're running out of light extremely fast. The sun has already ran away and the moon's starting to poke his head out. And we've got one more trap to set, total of two. And hopefully, if everything thing goes right we'll come back we'll catch us some kind of animal tomorrow and we'll get to try out my brand new flesh and beam on it we may even get to try out all three of them because i accidentally ordered three. Oh, kendall you did it this time we're here on the trap line i'm actually filming on my phone right now something happened that was extremely unexpected 
We did catch something, that's a fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, we caught something. Not exactly what some of y'all are hoping for. I will say, well, let me just show you. I caught a bobcat here like a few years ago, and I was really hype about catching another bobcat here, except today we caught something, not a bobcat, but we got a raccoon. I'm covering up something with my glove because, I don't know, guys, it's pretty brutal. This guy, um impaled himself yeah that's not that's usually not what happens on traps but you can look at the trap circle and everything pretty big then you can look over here where he set it at this stump so he ate out half the stump then what he done next really decided his well fate he came right over here to this thing this little uh, piece of uh, stump that comes around tried to get under it and then that little piece right there i guess i don't know he got tangled up in it he ended up impaling himself in the fight now, I really hate to show this because it's not what you want, okay? I didn't plan on catching a coon and him killing himself. Like, it's not like he intentionally killed himself either. It's He accidentally, you know, got impaled. And now he's literally half skint. That back end's rough, bro, but I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of nature in a way. It usually doesn't happen. I'll say this 100%. That usually, like, never happens. Like, I've never had that happen before. I'm about positive. If I would have caught any animal except a coon... That would not have happened, okay? That happens with raccoons, basically almost only. I mean, raccoons are literally like kind of crazy as it is. We'll come up, we'll get a facial. Y'all may not want to see that, but that's what a raccoon looks like, guys. Like he is, he's got weapons right there. Raccoons are one of the meanest animals in the world. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I didn't really want to show this to you, but I felt like you needed to see it because it's kind of an anomaly. This is not something that happens all the time for you guys who don't trap. This happens like literally probably once in a lifetime. I'll never have a coon impale himself again. And I'm sure that most of you guys that trap have never had that happen. I mean, it's not very common. Well, guys, on to, on to the rest of the day, I guess. Not a great way to start it, but at least we caught something. But really not, it did not end nearly as well as we wanted it to. Not at all. And we're in the basement now. I've got a fur right here. Unfortunately, we didn't catch one. We only caught that coon. And, uh, well, that's a little crazy. But here we have something that I'm actually going to tell you about in a second. But first, I want to let y'all know, as y'all probably already know, 2019 is basically over. But it's not yet. And that's why on Kendall Gray Wonder Comps that shop, where the first thing in the description, we're running a special sale. This is a huge sale, okay? It's literally 10% off the entire store. That means socks? KG trail cameras, and even just your standard t-shirts. Everything 10% off. Here's what you gotta do though. You gotta use this special promo code. The promo code right here, it's simply 2019. Use that code, it's gonna get you an automatic 10% off your checkout. That's pretty epic. Can we get one of the shop? Oh yeah, it ends 2020. It ends in the next decade. Keep in mind, the next decade is only two days away. But it ends at the start of 2020. Now let me tell you about this fur. This fur, I didn't get it, unfortunately. It actually came in fan mail, but this is what we can expect when I do catch something. Fan mail video is going to be on my second channel, Kid Rock Grade 2. It's actually not on the channel yet, but it should be within pretty soon, I'd say. But check this out, guys. This is a possum. This is actually what I was wanting to get. I'm kind of kind of jealous. Kind of jealous, not going to lie. But he's skinned out. He's been fleshed. Fleshing is where you take like the skin and you scrape all the fat off. If he hadn't fleshed this before he sent it in fan mail, it would still like have meat and muscle on it and fat. And that's not good because it rots and it attracts a lot of bugs. This has actually been done perfectly, fleshed perfectly. It's even got the face there. And it's even been tanned. That way we can play with it and the fur's not going to fall out. So I just wanted to come down here mainly to tell you about the sale because it's an epic sale. But it's kindlegrade1.com slash shop. Use promo code 2019, 10% off, site wide. This is the biggest thing literally we've ever done. This is like the biggest sale we've ever done in my life.